Our understanding of nature includes four fundamental forces, gravitational, electromagnetic, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. These forces are the basis of all known interactions in nature, and are caused by subatomic particles that carry the forces, except maybe gravity. Gravity stands apart from the other forces in that it's incredibly weak when compared to the others, and no corresponding particle, the hypothesized graviton, has ever been found. The understanding of these forces has been incredibly useful to humanity. Just look at electromagnetism. We use it constantly, and you wouldn't be watching this video without it, and you wouldn't be anchored to the planet without gravity. So it stands to reason that if there are other forces of nature that we don't yet know about, if we did, they would probably be extremely useful. And that brings us to the mystery of the fifth force. The idea of an undiscovered, less than obvious fifth force in nature has been around for a while. In fact, an experiment conducted in the 1980s seemed to show a fifth force operating at short distances. Unfortunately, attempts to repeat the experiment have failed to repeat the findings. But this is changing, more on that in a bit. Generally speaking, most hypotheses regarding the fifth force envision it as being very weak, similar to gravity, which would make it difficult to study. The need for a fifth force involves a series of anomalous observations that don't quite fit the current model. Interest in figuring out the fifth force increased when dark matter and dark energy were advanced to explain other anomalous observations, very big ones. The first was dark matter when it became apparent that galaxies did not behave as they should, and there must be an unseen amount of matter, dark matter holding them together, otherwise they would fly apart. The second was dark energy, where something seems to be driving the universe's expansion faster and faster. Either of these could involve a fifth force of nature. But there are other ways to envision a fifth force. So I'm not really envisioning the same force, meaning that there could be more forces than merely five. Or the whole thing could be a wild goose chase, and it ends up that there are only four. Other possibilities regarding a fifth force include a fifth force related to other dimensions and theories like string theory, or hypothesized but undiscovered particles that could carry such a force. But what of anomalous observations that seem to show something going on? Well, there are a number of them, as it turns out. Researchers measuring gravity working in deep mine shafts have found a discrepancy in what is predicted versus what is observed, a big one, as much as 2%, and the discrepancy really exists. It was verified by another group of researchers on a submarine deep in the ocean. This could indicate a fifth force that is repelling and counteracting gravity on very large scales. It's not hard to imagine the potential utility of something that can counteract gravity, but it's also possible for geologic anomalies to explain these observations. Other anomalous observations include a 2015 incident where scientists looking for a new particle observed excess decays that might indicate a fifth force, backed up by a second observation showing similar decays in helium atoms. But in the end, most experiments looking for a fifth force, however, have not found it unequivocally until now. In April of 2021, Fermilab near Chicago announced that they had strong evidence for a new subatomic particle that might be carrying a new force. In this case, the standard model predicted a certain behavior for muons, but the experiment showed that something was affecting them and causing them not to behave according to prediction. That something seems to be the fifth force. Confirming it and then figuring out exactly what the fifth force is doing are the next steps. What this force might be useful for remains to be seen. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently giving a shout out to the electromagnetic force. It makes everything work, including myself, the LeBaron, the collection of fruit themed refrigerator magnets the possum gave me for Animal Day, and so on. Good going, electromagnetic force. You sure are a winner. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channels for regular in depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.